Congratulations, bro. Stop. Don't do that. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations, bro. Stop. Don't do that. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations, bro. Stop. Don't do that. I know this is old news by now, but the more I look at how other people handle these situations, I'm realizing it's another example of LeBron James showing the world a bad example of behavior and getting away with it because people make excuses for him. I've listened to the excuses trying to justify LeBron James acting like the piece of human trash that he is, and they just don't, they don't work out. Make space, guys, for King, make space. You don't have an obligation to sign autographs. I'm sure Michael Jordan didn't sign every autograph. Stop. But, like, this was just... Don't do that. Over the top dick. Stop. Like, he had some sort of personal history with that kid. Stop. I mean, what? A... It's one thing to wait there hoping for an autograph and then not get your autograph, but then to just get a tongue lashing and then have all these guys lay their hands on you in a really demeaning way is a whole different experience. You walk away from that feeling pretty, pretty trash. Not just disappointed, but trashed. It's not like this kid broke through a barrier and bum rushed him. You know, it's wide open space. And the kid just is very calmly approaching and congratulating LeBron. What a dick kid. Don't congratulate him. And it's your typical LeBron James, whatever I think is the gospel of the Lord. So he is just fully immersed in his idea that what the kid is doing is unacceptable. Just give that kid a real tongue lashing for being the scary threat that that kid was. His awareness and vision of the street is about as good as his court vision. I mean, how does this catch you by surprise? If you want to be mad at anybody, maybe be mad at your worthless crew. Who are these slobs, these bums rolling around with you? You know, if you are so concerned about fans, fans, not, not people that hate you, fans. If you're so concerned about fans, maybe these guys should be getting out in front of you. Maybe you need these guys to be clearing a path for you. Don't pretend like this is something disturbing when you don't even bother to have your posse get out and walk in front of you and clear a path for you completely completely unnecessary this only gets worse for you lebron fans i mean look at this angle what right does lebron james have to act the way he acted this is not his property look at this dude putting his hands on the kid no 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 you don't get to do that. You know, you want to make some waves? Should have sued him for assault. I know that's ridiculous, but people have done it for less. It's a little much and it's a little late. You're not accomplishing anything at this point. In fact, the kid's stepping backwards as the guy decides, I'm going to go ahead and shove this little kid out of the way. This isn't the tunnel at an arena. This isn't gated off or roped off or fenced off. This is an open street. You don't have any right to tell that kid not to be there. You don't. Look at this guy. He's smiling. He's like, oh, wow, that's great. Look at the fans coming out to congratulate you. And then he has to switch. He's like, oh, never mind. LeBron's going to be a dick. I better start acting like something terrible happened. And then here comes this dude again. What are you accomplishing there other than being an insecure prick, an unnecessary asshole? Like, you're bringing up the rear, man. It's over with. You're not helping anymore. It's not your right to shove that kid out of the way. <laughs> you guys are on a public street with no barriers at all. Fuck you, go around. Fuck you, go around the kid. Not your street. I was going to make fun of man boobs getting out of the car there, but uh, it turns out he's an old man. Uh, so, you know, if there's such a threat out there, LeBron, maybe instead of marching away from the old man, you make sure he's safe. Yikes. Scary out there. If we back up a little bit further, I guess one guy did go in front of LeBron James. Two guys, or whatever that thing is. 
Is that LeBron's wife? No wonder he's so angry. I don't know who that is, but looking at this again, I guess that guy with the sunglasses on, which really helps you at night, be a great security guard, uh, he led the way for that person, which I reckon should have happened in LeBron's case too, if you were so worried about these children and the threat they pose. Isn't it interesting that LeBron will dye his beard for a basketball game, but not to go to the nightclub? And then LeBron immediately switches from DEFCON 4 threat level to doing his douche dance. Oh, we made it through the threat of the 12 year old kid back there. Now we can celebrate. I said earlier, the true damage is that this guy is acting like a jerk and people are making excuses for it. You know, jerks exist. That's the reality of life. So let's just say that he's a jerk. No, no, no. People got to come in and try and explain it all away. And one of the more extreme ones that I just found out about was people claiming that the kid was calling him an N the N-word. I mean, the extent you people go through to live in your delusional world to pretend LeBron isn't the piece of trash that he is. Listen, listen to this. That was supposedly the piece of evidence revealing LeBron being called the N-word. <laughs> I heard a kid very politely ask if he may take a picture, please. I mean, could the kid have been any more polite? LeBron has to go off the way that LeBron went off, not only did he not call him the N-word, he was polite. Don't do that. You know, the kid's not even actually coming at him. He's walking parallel with him and asking politely, Stop! Don't do that! Yeah, you tell him, LeBron. You tell those people out of control how to behave. I Congratulations, LeBron. Congratulations. Champion! My king, please, congratulations, champion, are the words heard in these clips. But supposedly, yeah, there's an N-word mixed in with all those compliments. That makes a lot of sense. Congratulations, LeBron. Oh, there's the evidence all the way back there, right when he's getting out of the car. The threat level has been assessed. You can hear the hostility. Congratulations, LeBron. The kid sounds about as timid as today's journalist asking LeBron questions. Congratulations, LeBron. All right, so security guard one makes way for whoever that is. I don't know if that's uh, his wife or whatever. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, Don't congratulate me, you son of a... And look at the guy in the back. He's like, oh, LeBron's upset. I better try and make up for lost ground. Maybe LeBron will be impressed if I come over and push this kid out of the way. What a douche. Douche one and douche two. There's a special set of rules for LeBron, it seems like. No matter what the situation is, always justification for him behaving the way that he behaves. And that's why his behavior gets worse and worse and worse. There's never any accountability, no consequences. You know, I go back to the 2016 finals where LeBron James explains that because he is a father and a husband, a man of pride. Don't forget, he threw in a man of pride because no one else in the NBA is a man of pride. Well, he's demeaning even when he doesn't mean to be to everyone else but his whiny overly dramatic speech that explains why it's unacceptable to be called the b-word yeah because you're the only father in the nba you're the only husband in the nba <laughs> certainly the only player to ever be called a b by any other player just shut your effing mouth you sensitive insecure piece of trash i don't know how this kid got into the tunnel and ran up on michael from behind but you see how michael handles it he goes ahead and signs everything 
Can you imagine LeBron James being touched on the head by fans? Can you imagine what that bitch would do? Look at this rush of people just charging toward him. LeBron, once again, God only knows. God only knows what that guy would do. And this kid, I don't know if he got his ball autographed or not. I can't tell from the footage that they showed. But I'll tell you one thing. He didn't go home after receiving a tongue lashing from his idol, Michael Jordan. For being such a terrible person as to hope for an autograph and say congratulations. Congratulations.